tomorrow we actually head home to Dallas for a quick little break. But before we go, we wanted to do a fun DIY food tour. Jordan has worked really hard and put together a full day of Greek treats. So first we're gonna stop and grab some Greek coffee to get our day started. We're gonna have some sweet treats, some Greek pies, some delicious gyros, you name it, all while still exploring some pretty awesome areas of Athens. Yeah, so come along. Let's go get coffee first. <laughs> We made it to Tab Coffee, and it tasted like one of the best coffee houses in all of Athens. I got the traditional Greek coffee. Ashley got a Freddo cappuccino. And the hot coffee is the cold coffee. The Greek coffee traditionally is cooked in um, an e-brick. So the coffee grounds are so you put in the pot with the water, you cook it, you pour it, you have the coffee grounds close to the bottom, and you sip it very slowly, or else you're going to have coffee grounds all in your mouth. Mm. It's, so I got no sugar in mine, so it's not sweet. It's not too strong, it's actually good for sipping a little bit. It has this like earthy, malty flavor to it. I like it. Traditional version which comes with honey and cinnamon. 
may smell incredible. They, they smell like sopapitas. If you've ever had Tex-Mex or Mexican food, or they smell just like a sopapita, and I sort of expect that they taste like that, which I'm excited about. They look like they'd go great with ice cream, but anyway, I digress. Let's get in and get a bite. Look at that gooey, gooey deliciousness. because of the, I guess, the shape of it and everything. You'll have to come here. Her, the building here at this bakery is adorable. Very, like, 1920s vibes. And you give these this cute little trendy, and I just, I love the whole atmosphere of it, and these are delicious. Jordan was like, oh, we don't have to eat the whole thing. We might eat the whole thing. Sue us. Honey. Mm. Mm. These are not like the traditional donuts in the U.S. that we're used to. These have a really, really crispy exterior. Ashley said it very well. They hold up really, really well to the honey. It's delicious, y'all. So good. If you're here, you have to come try this place out. The place that we came to is called Prino's. And Prino's actually opened in the 1920s. It's almost 100 years old. And it's been here in the same building from that same era, I believe. It is so good. Definitely give it a try. We went in on those donuts. <laughs> we saved one bite. Technically, we didn't finish the plate, but I could have. As we were walking out, I saw two of these cute, like, I'd say they're probably in their 50s, early 60s. These two ladies in there having each a plate of those Lucamades. Like, each one their own plate. And I was like, you go. You eat those donuts. I love that. Okay, on to the next one. All right, we've got our caffeine food and our sugar. We are wired. We're now gonna take some time to just walk around and explore two different areas of the Athens so we can work up another appetite before we stop at our next stop on the food tour. Okay, so we've made it to Sintagra Square here in one of the main like tourist areas of and this square specifically has a ton of history to it and Greek political history and kind of getting Greece to where it is today. Yeah. I mean, probably every leader of Greece has spoken here, protests happen here, anything you can imagine happened in this square. It's beautiful. And I want to say it's the main parliament building is also here on um, one side of the square. So we're going to walk around and check it out. Um, also, one other thing is apparently one of the world's best metro system stations is here in the Cosmo Square. it you can see all these pockets of other graves that are not exposed but that are I mean I hope they're still resting peacefully I don't know oh. it's interesting they it says they date to fourth century BC incredible weird but incredible Why pay to go to museum? 
museum. This is like just bite size enough and free. Just come straight down the steps of the underground metro at Syntagma Square and this is all just out and wildly fascinating. Okay, we just left Syntagma Square and now we've made it to Anafkotika, which resembles the neighborhoods of the Greek islands. So beautiful whitewashed buildings, gorgeous flowers, anything you can think of if you're on a Greek island. Kind of that airy beach town vibe. That's, that's really lovely. Let's walk around. Islands who came here to help build the palace and so I guess they built their homes in what was familiar to them in this sort of Greek island style so it has that total vibe all the houses are right next to each other and you're never really sure if you're walking into someone's alley or like a public road but it's so pretty out to the Greek islands, you definitely have to come to this neighborhood. You will get all the same vibes and the beautiful scenery of the Greek islands, minus the ocean. It's so fun just to explore and like wander through the different alleys. I love it. We're leaving the Anafkotika neighborhood and we're heading to what I hope and what I expect to be my personal favorite stop of the day on the food tour, Greek yogurt. Y'all, can I tell you something? This boy, when we're at home, Bayan is his favorite. It's made here in Greece. Greek yogurt is his like, you, you practically made a Greek yogurt. He goes through those tubs, those like big ones they sell. I don't know, every couple days. Yeah, probably two and a half a we, week. We can't keep him in our fridge. That's how much Greek yogurt he eats. He eats it for breakfast. He eats it for a cheeky bit that snack. He eats it anytime. So like this yogurt place. It's so delicious. Because he has high expectations. Very high expectations. He eats so much yogurt. <laughs> but we're gonna go treat him to a little Greek yogurt experience.
I got the traditional Greek yogurt. I got the light version. What can I say? Okay, this one has thyme honey and walnuts. It's the all-time traditional Greek classic. Please hear it. Let's go. So Hello. which is the Central Athens Municipal Market. It's the main market for meats, produce, veggies, fruits, everything you can think of. We're gonna head there now. Croatia and the smell on the bay. If you cannot withstand a very, very, very strong fish smell, that's not for you. But it, I thought it was very interesting to see all the local um, kind of merchants like yelling out the prices of their fish and seafood. The people were just like buying it whole, buying packs of little sardines. Like, very interesting experience. Just finished walking through the market. It was kind of an adventure. They are like constantly yelling the prices of everything. So it's, it's kind of hectic and there's like butchering happening and fish juice flying, but it was really cool to see. And it was very active, so that was really neat. Right now, I still have hiccups, so I'm so sorry. Right now, we are walking straight ahead. We just passed Crino's, where we started with the donuts. We've kind of made a circle around everything and we're gonna go get some falafel, specifically some gyro. I like falafel euro, so that's what we're gonna get. And fun fact, we've learned that both euro and doner, which is like a doner kebab, same kind of concept in food, they both mean turn in their respective languages, like turning of the meat on the little spit. So that's kind of a fun fact, right? So let's go grab one and see how we like some falafel. Spicy. Mm -hmm.
Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, we got a very large, small falafel pita. And so I don't know if I made it clear before, but like falafel is in Greek, gyros are Greek, usually with the meat that's on the spit, but Jordan and I just really prefer falafel. We are 100% vegetarian, we just eat a lot more veggie, and so we prefer this. And it looks so good. He asked us if we wanted spicy or no. Definitely we want spicy. There seems to be all kinds of goodness in there, so I'm pretty pumped to try it. It also looks very messy. So pardon me if I'm not ladylike. So far, very good. I love falafel. I really do. It's one of the best foods, I think. And these are delicious. Good texture. Really yummy other stuff. It doesn't seem as traditional, like there's no french fries in it or whatever, like we got everywhere else. But these are good. I recommend. This is how big the falafel is. It looks really, really mm. delicious. So, this pita bread is much, much thinner than the normal like, pita, bread, pita bread that we're used to. This definitely just reminds me of a really delicious Greek burrito. It's so good. It's got the picante, the tzatziki, it's almost like a sour cream. It's got the falafel, the tortilla. Mm. Okay, so after finishing our falafel wrap from Falafelas, Falafelas, I wanted to give you a quick little food critics opinion, if you will. One, it wasn't a euro, and I'm calling it a stop for a euro, that was false. It's a falafel wrap, it does not in pita, it's not a euro, that's okay. We really love falafel. The falafel itself was delicious. The wrap as a whole, I'm like iffy on, because the, the veg part and the sauce was kind of cold, and then the falafel were like hot as can be, so some bites were cold and some were warm, and I don't prefer that, but, was delicious. It was a really good little lunch, which I was in desperate need of. So I would say go try it. It's a cute spot. The service is great and it's cheap. So definitely give it a try. I'm really more excited for our next couple of stops. We have one stop after this that's for like Greek pie, which is like spanakopita and the cheese pies, things like that. And then we have our last stop is for another version of those lucamades, those donuts. And I am pumped for that. So we have much more ahead of us still on this DIY food tour. I can't wait. Oh, I got a falafel baby. Congratulations. When Next are you video, do? I'll announce for your girl. <laughs> Super thin hair like strands, and then you eat it. 
Anyway, that's exactly what this reminds me of, although with green flavors, but hopefully I don't think that's weird, but it's enormous. So I'm just gonna take a little bite and then eat the rest later, I think. Our Greek food tour here in Athens has finally come to an end and I hope that you enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed experiencing it and eating all of the delicious food. A couple of tips if you noticed, um, we added in a bunch of little stops um, in between food places so we can give our tummies a little rest from all the eating. Also, we walked the entire time so we can work up an appetite, kind of burn off some of those calories. We left our Airbnb at 9 a.m. We wrapped up at 2.30 p.m. So all in all, walking, eating, everything, it was five and a half hours. Very full day. Yeah, <laughs> but it was just a wonderful way to experience the whole city. Walk through some really neat neighborhoods and areas, see some ancient Greek ruins, eat some delicious food, and really just experiencing the city like a local. For sure. And we would totally recommend you get try your own. Like if there's yes. more different kinds of food, because we didn't do a very meat heavy one, obviously, but there are so much of that to be had that looks yeah. delicious. Go try that. Make your own. It didn't take but a minute of research. Plot it out on Google Maps and just start walking. Yep. So if you want to see all the details that um, of the places that we went to, I'm going to put all those in the description for you with links to the restaurants and Google Maps. So if you want to just do what we did, you'll have it all at your disposal. Yeah. Okay, well, this is where we say see you later. I don't know how much filming we'll do when we're back at home. Probably not a ton. I have a ton of videos to catch up on. So maybe we'll pick back up in the UK. Bye. 
But before we go, Jordan has put together a really fun For tomorrow morning, bright and early, we actually head home back to Dallas. Jordan has worked really hard and put together a full day of Greek treats. There's a lot going on. We still? Jordan wants to record this for posterity. I just looked at him and I said, you did such a great job, buddy. Like, I'm having the best day. Because he planned this whole thing. A class. Definitely get the tip. Okay, if you come here, you have to really be able to withstand a very, very strong smish. Smish. A very, very strong fish smell. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, let's go. Ooh. It's slippery. So from Falafelas, 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 you'll find it. Oh, I was going full steam ahead in there. <laughs> Ashley pulled me back at the I shoulders. Like, I was like, what is going on? I literally grabbed him by the shoulders and I like, pulled him back to the door and he's like, what? And I said, there's a sign that says don't go in wearing shorts. I saved you from offending them. You're welcome. Like y'all, it is hot here in Athens. I'm not about to walk around here with pants on. Maybe I'd be like Popeye's sailor and big old biceps. Definitely.